Hey guys, basic sorgonomics at Sorgatron on the Twitter. A rocket and rolling it here this week, and I want to first couple episodes this week. I want to talk, uh, kind of boil things down, get down to the basics of social media, kind of do a little bit of review, and, and see kind of where we're at right now. First, I want to talk about Twitter. Uh, so, uh, why Twitter is the big question for today, and, uh, and 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 especially there's a lot of discussions going on about what Twitter is doing uh, to get more people on board, where they're going with things, and and I think it's really interesting to explore kind of where they are at. Why would you get on board at this point, and uh, and, and and you know what what what's the point here? Um, so so Twitter, if you're not familiar, of course, for the uninitiated that may be coming across this, and I, I've I've been having a lot of discussions with people who say, oh, I just I just have Twitter so I can sign up for all those contests on the radio or TV or something like that, uh, which is a way that a lot of people are on there, and and and, and unfor- unfortunately, because it's kind of the empty calories of numbers of people that are on there. Uh, but Twitter, when you think about it, it's uh it, it's really just a stream of, of of consciousness. I like to think for the internet, uh, it is live. It is right now. Um, it is the thing that you tune into while everybody's watching the Super Bowl. It's reactive, right? You look at your timeline and you see what's happening right now in the people that you follow. Um, if you're fo- when you're on Twitter and you're 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 putting a tweet out that's 140 characters, that's you know again something that's locked down to way back in the day when we we're using text messages for Twitter. That's where the limitation actually came from. Uh, so we could use it before we had iPhones even at the time, right? Uh, and 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 it, I like to attribute it to you're kind of in, uh, you know, I've heard the term like you're at a cocktail party and you're just kind of shouting your information at a cocktail at a cocktail party and seeing who who interacts with you. And that's how you know we have replies, we have these conversations. Um, and I, I really like it for that live aspect, much like these podcasts that I do. Even now, this is a very pre-recorded, just me talking to a camera podcast, but I have an iPad over here with Facebook Live. That's how much I love that live exp- aspect and, and, and that feedback to happen, right? And I want to say hi to Wheels out there in the chat room and thumbs up his comment while I'm at it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and that's why I think Twitter really fits for a lot of things. Um, another comment that uh, was passed to me by our good friend Dutters uh, was uh, Twitter right now, Facebook later. If you're talking about an event is happening, you're covering your own event, say. Uh, so if you're... Um, if you're an individual, why sh- why should you be on Twitter? Why you should you uh, consider Twitter? Uh, it's really a place with a lot of stream of consciousness. Uh, as a personal person on Twitter, uh, I can tell you that I have gained many many friends on the platform. Uh, there's a great community that sprung up around PodCamp Pittsburgh in particular. Uh, but it's it doesn't just be have to be around that. It can be around your region. It can be around just fandom of a certain thing if you follow a lot of people that are into your comic books sports uh you know whatever uh, and and you can gain friends out of it, it, it it's really funny because uh you know uh, i and some friends around me always are well oh, how'd you meet so-and-so and i gotta think about it for a second and i'm kind of taken back i'm like oh they're my twitter friends you know and and, and that kind of response and, and seeing people's reaction from that uh, it, it is interesting. I know some friends that have had to say the same thing. Uh, I'd say that their reactions that they are receiving are are, are puzzled in in nature, for instance. Um, but it's really funny that you know to be able to say you know yeah we start on this digital medium, and I feel like uh, you know something like that where where you know there's no physical interaction to begin with. You get to know the personalities first, and or maybe the version of the personality the person lets on. I, I like to think that the people that I've met and befriended on Twitter are, are a little more real than that. But it brings that stuff together. If you're um, if, if you're an organization, if you're a nonprofit, if you're a business, you want to be part of that conversation. Hopefully, it's not just a feed and, and, and announcements of things. Hey, there's th- things that we're we're doing, you know, or maybe you're something that's in a certain. Um, um, level that if you did start talking about what you're doing, if you're already a company that's pretty established, uh, people can react to that. It depends on where your market is. But if you're a smaller business, you want to get out there and and become part of that conversation and find out if people are talking about your product. Because whether you're on Twitter or not, you may already be on Twitter or not. If you're a, a Pampers 
diaper company? Why would I be talking about that on Twitter? Why would I start a conversation on Twitter about that? Somebody may have a problem with your product or something you did with a marketing campaign and already be talking about you over the weekend and maybe ruining your Monday when you come in. And I believe as I think I got the right company. That is a thing that happened. Um, so you want to you want to do that for for management there. The other neat thing is you have direct access. Uh, it feels good when I say, hey, GoDaddy, I'm really glad that you uh, didn't spend $5 million on a Super Bowl ad. And instead of having beanie, bikini-clad women like you have had in the past, I had a wonderful woman that I talked to on your customer service line today that was very helpful. Like There was you know, two positive strikes for them there. And of course, that for them to actually, I didn't even tag them. I didn't even at them. I, I just mentioned GoDaddy. Wasn't even a hashtag in it. But they, they, as a company, are looking for their name on Twitter, saw it within probably a few hours of the tweet, and said, thank you for the good feedback, you know? And I could be somebody out there bitching about them as well. Comcast Cares is something very notoriously uh, that, that started this movement, that they're coming out and say, hey, what's your problem? Uh, let me help you out. You know, everybody complains about their cable company. Hey, let me actually help you out. When you get that feedback, uh, many times when people are ranting and trolling us on our, on our comments, uh, usually it's that, hey, uh, sorry you didn't like that. Uh, you know, this is what we were thinking when we did this, or maybe we can help you with that. When they know that there's somebody on the other end, that tends to calm a lot of people down, that they're actually somebody reacted to them and responded to them. Um, there's a PGH 311 in the area where uh, you can tweet it like, uh, there's a big pothole that's a problem over here in my neighborhood. This is the address. Or, or this is, there's something else going on over here. Uh, there's a power line down over here. And they will say, hey, uh, thanks for getting that. Here's the service number. We contact the appropriate utilities, company, department, whatever the case may be. You know the ball has started rolling on there. And hopefully the rest of the government works. You see. Um, or to the point where, you know, of course, we do the wrestling podcasts around here. And one of the great things as personal fans and on this level of being the podcast talking about the subject, we get a lot of responses from the wrestlers themselves, not just like the indie wrestlers. That's awesome. But like the guys that we just saw on Monday Night Raw um, a couple of weeks ago, we had a, a one of our comments was retweeted by Paul Heyman. Now, I don't know if he completely runs his own uh, uh, Twitter account, but I think he mostly does. Uh, from what I've seen about him online, talking about social media, uh, some of his behind-the-scenes stuff, and 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 again, a big bump for us. And there's a there's a, a touch of reaction of you're like, wait a minute, that guy I just saw on TV saw my tweet, and even if he just hit a star, he hit the favorite button. I guess his heart's now. Um, you got a little bit of feedback. It helps that one-to-one -one, uh, customer face-to-face. -face, it closes the gap as far as things go. And again, it's that stream, it's right now, and it's a very reactive kind of place to be able to do that. And and, and to be on Twitter and be interacting on Twitter, um, and not to say it's a 24-7 job, but it kind of is, especially if you are something that's trying to make sure uh, that your brand is uh, uh, in the good, for, for, for lack of a better uh, period there. Because, again, something could go bad over the weekend. If you only have a 9 to 5 and somebody comes in Monday, you just miss the chance to capitalize on that and respond to that. So there's a little bit of a, a what Twitter is about, uh, how to get into it. If you're brand new to it, start an account. Go ahead and follow like your favorite stars, uh, friends that happen to be on there. Uh, you know, Go through the contacts or, or just sports teams, movies, whatever the case may be, actors. Uh, just just as a starting point to see what people are doing on there and and, and see them there. Or look, look up articles of um, who are the best Twitterers to follow uh, in photography. There are plenty of them out there, and they have beautiful stuff out there. Uh, Google any of those. You'll find lists. It'll give you some ideas where to start. And then say hi to those people. Don't just be a lurker. You're not going to get the most out of it. And just start with that. Next episode, we're going to talk about Facebook. Why Facebook? And uh, so much more. Check out Sogertron.com. The brand, brand newly uh, redesigned SogertronMedia.com has been way overdue. Hope it's a little cleaner for you. It's a few more uh, uh, widgets and, and, and such that I want to put on that site to make it a little clearer what's going on around the Sogertron Media empire and so much more. Thank you so much 
and uh, see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.